And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about a remarkable natural substance for protecting the body against the metastasis of cancer cells. So cancer cells clump together to form colonies that then grow. And cancer cells use adhesion molecules to, to achieve this clumping together. This allows circulating tumor cells to adhere to the blood vessel walls, which is an essential part to metastasis, or what we know of as the spread of cancer throughout the body. Modified citrus pectin, one of my favorite supplements of all time, can support the body's efforts at preventing these cancer cells from adhering to the cell wall and clumping together. Modified citrus pectin actually binds to these adhesion molecules on the surface of cancer cells, preventing them from sticking together and forming a cluster. Modified citrus pectin will also inhibit circulating tumor cells from adhering to the lining of blood vessels. So what is modified citrus pectin? It's a water-soluble fiber derived from citrus pulp and peel that acts as a decoy for galactins, which are cancer cell surface proteins. The more galactins that are present, the easier it is for cancer cells to clump together and grow, like I said. One of these galactins, known as galactin-3, is a critical component of cancer metastasis. Metastatic cancer cells often have countless more galactin-3 than on cells from the original tumor. More galactin-3 allows cancer cells to clump together and stick to non-cancerous tissues elsewhere in the body. Modified citrus pectin interferes with this process, making it substantially more difficult for cancer cells to adhere to other cancer cells or even other tissues. Galactin-3 also contributes to angiogenesis, which is the body's ability to grow new blood vessels. Cancer cells are able to hijack this process and build new blood vessels to feed tumors, so modified citrus pectin's interference with galactin-3 actually helps to literally starve cancer cells of the nutrients they need to survive. Cancer cell galactins seek out the sugar galactose in cells, and modified citrus pectin naturally contains galactose. So when lectins come in contact with the modified citrus pectin, the lectins will attach to the pectin just as it would for a regular cell, thus rendering the cancer cell incapable of spreading anywhere else in the body. In this way, modified citrus pectin has been shown to be very effective against the spread of cancer throughout the body, which is again what we call metastasis. A typical dose of modified citrus pectin is about one heaping teaspoon, which is about 5,000 milligrams of powder or about six capsules if you're taking it as pills. For best results, do not take your modified citrus pectin within two hours of taking any supplements and or medication because the pectin will actually pull those right out of you. Modified citrus pectin is a fiber, so like any fiber, be sure to drink plenty of water when consuming it. You can take modified citrus pectin anywhere from one to three times per day, and I think a great time to take it daily is just before going to bed, so it can work throughout the body all night. That's when I take mine, and I take it at least three times a week. If you don't drink enough water with modified citrus pectin, it'll likely cause constipation. So again, be sure to drink plenty of water when taking it. If you do take it in the powder form, it has a light salty taste to it. So you can easily mask that in some juice or whatever you like to drink. One thing you'll notice as you take it is that in addition to the immune benefits, it's also great for boosting your mental clarity. I think we could all use help with that. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.